I just happened to play with a beach ball one day and I noticed it rolled over a cliff and the Pokemon went out in the water to get it. And I was just astounded that so much effort had been put into coding this and getting Pokemon to do such a random thing, which is playing in the water with a beach ball. So I decided to try it again, but I wanted to give the non-water type Pokemon a chance to play with it too. So I went to a less deep um, beach area and just in the shallows and threw a ball and watched what happened. And as you can see, the rest of my party is just sleep and relax next to the beach. They didn't really actually get in the water, but I thought it was pretty cute, especially the Annihilate. My Quackable is a jerk, <laughs> and she does not want <laughs> anybody else to play with the beach ball, so she played Keep Away for my Pogo Dingo. And after playing Keep Away all that time, the minute my poor Goldingo gets the ball. The Quackable decides to ask for it back. I just think it's amazing the amount of little details that is actually in this game. I'm not saying that the game is perfect, it's definitely not. I just I just can't understand how they, they put so much effort into tiny little things like this. And uh, she decided to just spin around the ball. I really honestly thought that she was broken, so I had to kind of just kick the ball myself to get her out of the spin. In the end, it was really nice, relaxing time, just watching the Pokemon interact with each other. I still kind of missed the picnics from Sword and Shield, but this is pretty good and it was really pretty.